everyone, I'm Devin. And I'm Jared. And have you ever noticed you can tell a lot about a person by what they choose to eat? Jared! What? Did you know that Hitler had a sweet tooth? I don't really think much about Hitler, honestly. Did you also know that Audrey Hepburn was addicted to carbs? Everyone is addicted to carbs. And did you know that one of Helen Keller's favorite food was a salad? No one's favorite food is a salad. I know, it's fucked up. On this show, Jared and I are gonna recreate the recipes left behind by our most talked about historical figures and attempt to spill the tea on their personal lives. Ooh. <laughs> I bring the stories, Jared does the cooking, because he's beautiful and he can actually follow directions. Girl, get out, but it's true. Some of these recipes are gonna be delicious, some of them are gonna be terrible, but I promise you, all of them tell an entertaining tale. Jared has no idea what these recipes are. Very excited to see how this goes. Let's dive in. So this week we're starting with Marilyn Monroe's stuffing recipe, which the New York Times deems as handsome, balanced, and delicious. Funnily enough, those are the three words I use to describe Jared here. You've never called me any of those things to my face. This recipe is especially noteworthy because it was penned on some stationery from a title insurance company in San Francisco. Do you think you can follow this? Um, I literally can't read any of these words. Why is it so faded? Because it's history, Jared. Because it's fucking history. Well, then we should be cooking from history. This recipe was written between 1955 and 1956, around the same time Marilyn Monroe met and married playwright Arthur Miller. Which brings us to the scandal that this stuffing is going to unstuff for us. Who do we think was Marilyn's true love? This slip of paper holds the answer to our question. It also details that we have to buy turkey livers. You did not tell me that. We have to buy turkey livers or hearts. I refuse to touch a heart on this show. <gasps> you didn't tell me that when we went into this. You didn't tell me that when we went into this. <laughs> Jared, this recipe holds the truth. Let's go. So this recipe includes 11 different ingredients plus okay. salt, pepper, and five different herbs and spices. The usual suspects. But before we get all of that, it's okay. time for our first tea bit. Our first what? Tea bit. It's like a tidbit of information, but it's tea. I hate how excited you are about this. <laughs> Come on, Jared, let me have this. Tea bit number one. Okay, we'll just leave this here, I guess. So Marilyn Monroe was actually married to Joe DiMaggio in 1954 in the San Francisco City Hall. Okay. Jared. Oh. San Francisco. Yeah. The fucking, when she wrote the, the recipe. So the recipe was actually discovered in her New York apartment that she shared with Arthur Miller. I just think it's interesting that it's written down on stationery from a title insurance company from San Francisco. Walnuts. Is that the only nut we need? Hey, -o. Celery. Ew, why is it so wet? Pine nuts. Because we did need more than just one type of <laughs> nut and you made it weird. No garlic. Raisins. Oh look, cheese, Parmesan. I can grate it myself. I'll be so nice. We should buy it grated. No, okay. Do you want this to taste good? Yeah. And you shred it yourself. It's way better. I you didn't knew know that. that. Okay, all right, all right. You're right, you're right, right. Dump. Bread, 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 bread. Let's get this man a snack. <gasps> what? <laughs> I'm gonna pay for it. Ready to dip your bread in some uh, California grown chicken livers? Those are very close to my face. I'm just gonna take these away from you and put them <laughs> way over here. We fucking get it. Now that we're back in the kitchen, it's time for tea bit number. Tea bit number two? This is why I don't cook that much. Cooking tip number one is to probably remove any rings and or loose jewelry you that might it. end up in our food. Okay, time for <laughs> tea bit number two. Did you know that Marilyn Monroe wrote poetry? I have told you so many times that I don't know anything about her. So no, I didn't know that. She did, and it was actually very, very good. Marilyn, if you can hear me, girl. I just want to let you know that your poetry is really good. And don't listen to a thing that Arthur Miller has to say. First of all, that drama is just not like vibing with our set right now. Second of all, what did Arthur Miller say though? Well, I'll tell you about that later, but first let's get to the ingredients. Well, so we had the eggs boiling. First, what we're gonna wanna do is prep these fresh ingredients. We have a lot of chopping to do, okay. which I'm gonna delegate to you. Gotcha. We're gonna need four stalks of celery and I would cut it however finely you'd want to chop them. It says four celery stalks, but like this is a smaller stalk than this. So I would just chop it up to do five. Is that not following the recipe? So the thing about cooking is that the ingredient ratios don't make a difference to whether the dish is actually gonna work or not. So don't overthink 
your celery game. Let me tell you something about Marilyn Monroe, now that you mention overthinking. Oh, okay, good segue. When she first got into the relationship with Arthur Miller, she was really overthinking it. In fact, she wrote a lot of poetry about it. Girl was in love, like very much so. That said, this is still Joe DiMaggio's recipe. The sheer fact that she took a recipe from San Francisco that was like a Bay Area recipe for Joe DiMaggio back to her apartment in New York City that she shared with Arthur Miller is a lot. I am wielding this knife or not. I like, I was keeping an eye on it. I mean, like, it makes sense though that if she had a recipe that she was really proud of that she would just keep using it. True. But like, you'd think she'd be like, okay, I'm not married to Joe DiMaggio anymore. I can add garlic. That, I will say, yeah. All right. I chopped celery. Look at me You go. did a great job. Let's chop parsley. We need like two whole cups of it. As I'm just handling these nuts, I'm gonna toast these now. You'll know when it's done just because you'll smell it. See, can you smell that? Ooh, yeah. It smells toasty. That's when you know it's done. Tell me more about Joe DiMaggio. I mean, other than I love the sound of his name, I don't really know anything about him. He was a Yankee slugger, athlete. Okay. But it feels like that he kind of really fell in love what was that about love? Just kidding, I'm so gay. <laughs> it feels like from everything I've read about Joe DiMaggio that he really fell in love with like at home Marilyn. She, you know, really started to blow up in her stardom, especially for being like a sex symbol. Mm -hmm. He had a problem with it. I'm not checking my phone, I'm just checking the timer for these eggs. I think the eggs are ready. Which I didn't even set. So they're probably done. <laughs> Do you think it should be smaller? Cause this is like- This is chopped. This is Devin's chopped. I'm insulted. <laughs> Do you want to peel these eggs? Look at how nicely this is chopped. Honestly, I can't say a damn thing negative about that. That looks great. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna want to do one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Okay. And in the meantime, I will cut up the onion. I can already feel this onion trying to make me cry and that's really fucked up. We should soak this bread. Mmm. Okay, here we go. This feels really wrong. Yeah, it does. It I'm really not even does. doing it. Ew, it feels so bad already. Touch it. So this has to go for 15 minutes, and then we have to boil the chicken livers. Let's dive we, right in. We don't have to until the water's boiling. We can wait. We can do the other meat first. So as we chop and saute and yeah. work with this raw meat, I want to talk about Arthur Miller. There was what? no segue what? there. <laughs> Did you know that he went to University of Michigan? Go blue. I didn't. Are you? Oh. You went to University of Michigan. I did. Did you know that your girl performed in The Crucible as Goody Proctor on her senior year? What does that have to do with this? It really doesn't have anything to do with it. It's not a tea bit. It's just a fun little factoid about me. <laughs> Honestly, Jared, I used to be such a huge fan of Arthur Miller because of University of Michigan, but okay. doing all this research about Marilyn Monroe, I am low-key changing my mind about him. Shortly after Marilyn Monroe broke up with Joe DiMaggio, she met Arthur Miller. And when I say she fell hard, the bitch fell hard. That happiness in the marriage didn't last long. It never does. It really doesn't. In 1956, the couple moved to England. And shortly after that, Marilyn found a diary entry of Arthur Miller's where he said that he was embarrassed by her and was disappointed to take her around his friends. Ew, that's it's, fucked up. It's so fucked up. But also, what was she doing? Timer. Our bread is ready. Something tells me that you're really excited to tear this bread apart. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Marilyn? Why? I'm gonna start putting this together. Love it. We're done. Ready for the meats? Yep. In you go. Fat and all. I'm sure Marilyn would have like drained that, but I don't want to do that. We've saved the best for last. Ew, gross. <laughs> no. Jared, if Marilyn can work with chicken livers, so can we. Ready? Okay, no. This is for Marilyn. This is for this Marilyn. Is for Marilyn. <laughs> I hate making direct eye contact with it. Did you get, oh, I'm a biohazard now. <laughs> <laughs> Put a wooden spoon uh, over it. Put a wooden spoon over it. Put a wooden spoon over it. Put a wooden spoon over it. <laughs> gross, 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 gross. <laughs> Now that these livers have given us enough trouble, it's time to cut them up. It's so bulbous. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sound. Uh. Do you want me to take over? You no. look really upset. I'm not upset, I'm just stressed. Every moment of my life moving forward, I'll think of your strength in this moment. It's nothing like Marilyn Monroe's strength because after her marriage ended with Arthur Miller, she actually committed herself to a psych ward. Oh shit. It was that bad? Well, she committed herself because she was an insomniac and she just needed some rest, but then they held her against her will for three days and she couldn't even, she wasn't even allowed a phone call. Isn't that fucked up? How? 
Is that even like legal? Yeah. Let's put it all together. I'm getting tired of standing here with you. You're never tired of standing here with me. I'm tired of standing. That's, That's true. not a lie. Oh, it smells so good. It's so green. It is very appealing visually. Wait, should we put an M in it? That doesn't make Maryland? any sense. Here, yeah, here, yeah, watch. Garbage. watch, watch, watch. That's not gonna translate through baking. Well, she'll know. That one's for you. It's for you, girl. Maryland. Right, well, let's put this in the oven. Let's get it done. Wait, Tasty's actually very, very busy today, so we don't have access to their ovens. So can we go to your house? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. My like kitchen's not ready to be inside, have people inside. <laughs> it's kind of dirty. Hey, Jared. Yeah? Don't drop it. I really thought you did. <laughs> it's really sunny out here in the real world. Put your phone down. My keys are at the office. No. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to go back to BuzzFeed to get your keys. So we're just gonna go to a neighbor's. Let's do it. Don't, don't go in the oven. Again. Bye, stuffing. See you in an hour. Hello, goodbye. Hello again. Ta -da. Hey, look at that M that you made. <laughs> Looks Sad. great. We didn't anticipate how hard it would be to get a hot thing back to the office. So I hope this blanket's like rated for this temperature or I'll just get a bunch of melted polyester on my lap. <laughs> <sighs> what a goddamn journey this has been today. It certainly has been, Jared. Before we dig in. No. Yep. I want it now. I have our last and final tea bit. Okay. Fine, what is it? So after Marilyn Rowe was committed and held against her will to the psych ward, there was only one person who could get her out. And that person was Joe DiMaggio. What? And they kind of rekindled some sort of romance. Yeah. And when she committed herself to the psych ward, he was keeping tabs on her. Uh... And, he, and he broke her out. How cute is that? That's pretty sweet. Rumor has it that they were gonna get remarried, but she died shortly thereafter. What? I know. That's the saddest story this <laughs> stuff could possibly have. Ever. Let's dig in. <laughs> I dedicate this dish we made to Marilyn. It's to Marilyn. So yourself. As, what the fuck do you think I am? I'm not your mom. What? So whether she loved Joe DiMaggio or Arthur Miller, the world may never know, but she loved to cook, which I didn't know before I started doing this research for this episode. I didn't know that she loved any of those things before I was here yesterday. <laughs> Full disclosure, I'm not, really a stuffing fan, but I really do love the taste and the texture of this stuffing. This is actually really good. And very good. There's a lot of rich flavors. Yeah. Like the chicken livers are really deep, meaty flavor. The Parmesan is a really like musky. Right. It tastes romantic. I mean, I suspect that this might be something that she used to impress every man that she met in her life. Because totally. it would work on me. So. I think I would definitely make this recipe again just because it makes me feel closer to Marilyn. I mean, she tasted exactly this. We're sharing a mouthfeel with Marilyn Monroe right now. Wow, a That's mouthfeel. really cool. I'm actually very like excited about this and like definitely want to do this with other people throughout history. I think this is like a really fun thing to do. Those tea bits aren't too bad, aren't they? They're whatever. <laughs> Should we go share this with people around the office? Let's do it. Let's see what people think. Yeah. Oh my god. You like it? Mm-hmm. Wait, is there like Raisins in there? That's a cool touch. I can see her like just putting that down the table and being like so proud of herself. If I made this for my boyfriend, I think he would be really into it. Maybe break you out of a mental institution a couple years down the line if you needed I, him I, to? I think so. Fuck yes. You guys did a really good job. And the chicken livers, they don't suck. Oh. <laughs> well, there's, there's... Where? Bye. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> 